What's up, degenerates? Right, we have a lovely day to report today. Five tips, three winners, a second and a third. Definitely a great day. We had uh, two nice winners on the Patreon service. We did have a winner on the free service. Also a second and a third. I'll come to them in a second. I just want to touch on the Patreon service first. Really nice winner today with uh, the, the change in man. Uh, very progressive, very well handicapped, too good. Advise them as a four points win at 11 to 10. Now, I know that price doesn't seem like uh, uh, something to scream and shout about, but today I really thought it was good value. Uh, he won very, very well. When you watch this horse gallop through the line in Fast Lass, you knew he was very well handicapped. Plenty more wins to come. I also had uh, Pilston, what's his name? He won today. Pilston Penn, really progressive horse lads. Returned today and he did a few things wrong in Exeter in the first couple of jumps. He won at nine to two, a lovely price. He's just a real likable horse lads. He, he, this guy can keep going through the ranks. He's a nice horse. He's steadily progressive. Connections always do well at Exeter, so really nice there. We did have one disappoint on the service, Siri, or oh, Serious Chargers. So we had six tips. Serious Chargers disappointed um, a little bit. Uh, just not with it today, first run over fences, but he'll be back. Um, yeah, but really, like I said, really good profit on the service today. Over 11 points profit again today. Backing up with 15 points profit yesterday, so... Really nice, 26 points profit in the last two days. Uh, but a real solid month altogether. We're miles ahead again uh, on the service. And like I said, I can't wait for the new year, January and February, where I'm going to merge the tips together. Like I had a 16 to 1 winner the other day. It doesn't even get counted into my results. We're about plus 50, we're over plus 50 points for November on the service. And imagine if I added in, I don't even add in my free tips, like the Real Whacker won a 16 to one, Galah seven to one, Thunder Rock the other day, seven to four, Amarillo Sky, seven to two, I do apologize, four to one, Atacan three to one, there was a rule for that. And then shoot first as well, back at the last meeting of Cheltenham, six to one, they're just a few winners I can remember. I just cannot wait to be merging all my tips into one. Like it's so funny, I don't uh, count them into my results. And like I do leave out plus, 60 points plus 70 points it's insane but yeah plus 52 point 35 points profit in the patreon service without even adding in all the, the the profitable winners on the free tips that i do give out that's true 45 selections uh so far this month for november so a whopping whopping profit again just crush mode so really enjoying it right what did we have today then state man getting it done he went off long odds on in the end i thought captain conby ran well might want to set a headgear now lads it's just unlucky for the jockey today he's traveling beautiful he lands there a small little bit early then he has to sit then when you go from he, he just gets caught a little hot a little cold to get into gallop and maybe a set of blinkers on this horse but he's the type of horse kevin sexton won won the, a big handicap hurdle in cheltenham and i wouldn't be surprised if this lad could win a big handicap hurdle someday because the day he challenges last and fast is the day he could win a big one he's off 132 the handicapper won't touch him if he nudged if he got up five or six more pound got into a, a race like i know he ran over three mile but a race like the carl cup could suit him well or something like that where they go a million he could absolutely harpoon them late in the day i think captain conby for a big handicap the bigger the better the faster the go the faster he finishes right late and fast to move them all for a big one right um what else did we have uh the skeleton horse ran really well just unlucky to come into a venetia wins but anyway crush more the cold bear sports three lovely winners today second and a third cold bear sports patreon service we are crushing through 45 selections plus 52 points profit so that means if you had a hundred uh, per pint on every bet i advised on the patreon service you would be up 5235 euro if you had um 10 euro a pint you'd be up 520 yeah 520 whatever you'll be up a lot of money <laughs> my maths is freezing here but 52 pints profit to 11 stake we crushing and that doesn't include any of all the winning bets on the free service unbelievable as always crush mode right tomorrow so brentford hoping the 105 at ludlow definitely a very interesting horse 
going hurdling. By Camelot, this lad has a lot of class and Richard Hughes knows a lot about good hurdlers. So let's hope this guy can do it well. His dad Desi trained some belters, you know, so it's really interesting to see Brentford hope what he can do tomorrow. This could be exciting, lads. Point win, 11 to 10. This is a juvenile law. First run, be careful. Ludlow can be tricky, but he's all class. And uh, he'll take a bit of beating if he takes to it. Right, and then in the 135 at Ludlow as well. Born at midnight. This landed a beauty of a bet on the Patreon service for us the last day at 14 to 1. We had two points each way on it. Um, I think it'll come on for the run. It'll definitely be a big player. Uh, his jumping does be a little in and out, but he's a good jumper overall. Let's hope he can stay on his feet tomorrow. We'll go a pint win that he can follow up around an 11 to 4 shot. I just think Harry Kimber's on rock solid form. And uh, like I said, we got the money off him the last day when he bolted in a 14 to 1 advised as a strong bet on the service. Right, enjoy Cold Bear Sports for all your best bets. Make sure and like and follow the Bookie Crushing service. And uh, it's a pleasure to keep finding many winners for the great community that supports this channel. Just to finish off on Ascot and all the saga with the ground, I just wanted to make it clear with my... Uh, stance on you know constitution hill not running is absolutely nothing got to do with my opinion my opinion uh, has got to do with the excuse they're using to say the ground was unsafe and uh, not to run you know the the, the, the perfect uh, in the perfect scenario we just say look we want a bit of soft ground we'll wait for the next day the ground's too good today I thought the way Nicky was talking on the debate, I thought it's a lot very harsh, like saying if we ran in Ascot, we wouldn't get out of the stable for a year. You know, that kind of, it's it's emotion. It's it's a it's a one-sided opinion with not much thought. It's, a, it's emotions getting the better of them. You know, it was good ground. It dried out. It wasn't suitable for Constitution Hill. Was it the right decision to take him out? I'm sure absolutely was. Nicky knows the horse inside out. He's a brilliant trainer. But I just feel like they shouldn't have threw Ascot under the bus for ground becoming good ground because that's all that was wrong. It wasn't on safe. Many horses ran, won, collected great prize money, enjoyed. You know, it's just it wasn't suitable for Constitution Hill and a couple of others like Lahan Prezi and all them. They're soft ground horses and that's fine. Take your horse out, look for soft ground and run them and, and that's it. That's just my stance. I just don't like the view that it was a death trap for horses and it was unsafe and it was all this i just i think it was just good ground at ascot uh you know is it is it it's not happy that uh it, it came to this but that's that's where we are and that was it so yeah like i said best of luck to constitution hill wherever he goes probably see him in the fighting fifth now and uh i'd say he'll win it on the bridle be interesting all right definitely interesting like i said just didn't like the way Ascot got through under the bus for the simple reason the ground dried out. It became good. It's not a death trap. It's not dangerous to any horse. It's just unsuitable to some national hunt horses. All right, enjoy Colbert Sports. We are crushing.